Sorrow's gonna be extra pissed. Uh, how did you? The boss let me go. The boss? But why? I'll tell you later. Right now we've got to get to the lake and escape. We can't leave yet. I've still got one last job to do. The boss is already at the lake. Huh? She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. Waiting for me. I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell you. I don't want you to fight her. And... But I... Huh? I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Really, I do. But I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, is it the first Metal Gear? Or is it Shagohod? It's able to, like, walk? What? It's like a combination of Metal Gear and Shago Hood. Big boss. Okay, so <laughs> wait a second now. She is driving this, yes? Because I thought I just crashed into the wall myself. things like invincible
Yeah, good aim. Somehow, there's there's a spot. There's a weak point. Necessary jiggle. is a blunt weapon. Amazing ingenuity, Ocelot. Snake saved him with his matrix skills. I was told to put on this uniform. Jesus fuck, what does this do? Enemies of the Soviet side will hesitate to attack. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Shoot, please. This is how I play Counter Strike Global Offensive. I just buy it again and just jam on the button until something dies. 
I actually want to try something. Because there's a weapon the fucking scorpion has. Um... Laser. like Operation Wolf. metal gear made out of. <laughs> yep, guy's crazy. camera guys Cycle.
Yeah, good aim. I have infinite ammo. Beautiful. How do we hear him? And he, oh, it's on a probably a loudspeaker. Because this thing needs a loudspeaker. Oh, sorry, immersion. Keep the thing at the base. And he can use it however he wants. Like he's now just going after us because of petty revenge. Where, where's the explosion? Where, where's the I explosives? More to the left. Shoot! Uh, you told me to shoot! Fuck! I planted two C3 charges. Shoot! Up! Only one more left. It's still too early. Here. Looks like it's going to make it. It, it, the Shago Hut's gonna roar again. I, I know it will. We did it! Maybe. I mean, this thing is, is made of adamantium, so it's probably gonna be fine. Uh, yes. 
past the mighty roar. It's over. A little too early to celebrate, Snake. Wait, no, it went in the water. Oh, the bottom half went in the water. This is the top half. This is baby gear. Baby gear solid. I'm not finished yet. Take care of the driving. Yeah? Yeah, I trust you. Full I'm metal babu. Leave the fighting to me. You got it. I was getting tired of running away anyway. Eva. Let's do it. <laughs> For luck. Okay, guys, here we go. Open fire! That all you can make out is a feeler's fist! You're wasting your book! You're wasting your ammo! It's a feeler's fist! Open fire! Vulnerable when the treads aren't moving. Exactly, my question. Oh, the, that's the front. This right here. Why is it happening? This 
guy's really good at giving a play-by-play -play from his perspective. What? Open fire! What have you done? Like, I need to know everything he's thinking. It's a good thing he says it. Come on, just give me a clean shot. Yeah. Whew. Streamer, is this the first time playing this? Yes, it is. To respond to the one member of chat that I can respond to. Did we beat him? No. Even babier. Metal Gear is going to pop out. Oh, no. Sick bastard doing. He's making it move by sheer force of electricity. I'm gonna lure it back here. You're gonna use yourself as bait? Are you insane? I'm used to this guy. I know how to handle him. And his name is John Cena!
he absorb my bullets? Fighting fucking hell. Fucking hell. By the way, this uniform probably would not be as good as this uniform for its extra protection. I realized I'm such a fucking dope. I've been doing this wrong the whole time. Are you gonna fucking taunt? So far, so good. Yeah. 
infinite bullets. Penetrate the mighty box. What? Good. This is just going to be a war of attrition. It's just going to take a while. I'm out of scorpion ammo too, so it's time to pull out the AK. I want to see Codex. Snake, it looks like Vulcan is using his own electricity to power oh, the man. Shagahod now. Really? Attacking the Shagahod itself at this point will have little effect. You need to aim for Vulcan himself. We, we are going to finish this front, game tonight, so there is no the plus more. Electromagnetic field. Target him from the back and sides. Don't try to shoot at Morgan from the front. He'll just deflect it with that electromagnetic field of his. Get around behind or to the side of the Shagohan and shoot at Morgan from there. The Shagohod weapons are deadly. You're likely to get seriously hurt if you get caught in its sights. That's good info. If you get injured, go into the survival view and take care of them. <laughs> She's a little busy right now, I think. left of the game oh Jesus I don't think we're gonna be finishing the game tonight then battle once you figure out the cheese easy cheesy beautiful oh hey Fred Fred how much longer is you, you think I have to go
Who's afraid of a little thunder? See what happens. Are his bullets finally exp like fucking going off and penetrating him? He's got electricity, and his skin is impervious to all damage, except fire. Or a bolt of light. A fitting end. It's finally over. Now kiss while he explodes. No, oh, mm, hug is good too. Really? The escape craft is just up ahead. Let's get going. There's more. This AK is insane. This has less recoil. It's a really good thing I went back to get this gun because it is awesome. <laughs> it's like I can't even see what's happening because of the fucking action camera. It's best to just do this in first person.
fucking scream is gonna be stuck in my head for weeks. Now that's fucking resilient technology. Fucking go, die. Jesus. So much screaming. This is definitely going on a lot longer than I expected. What about it? I know I'm right. What's what's the problem? I know you are, but what am I? Start celebrating yet. We're leaking fuel. Damn it. Oh, finally Thank one of them God. hit the fuel tank. Thousands of bullets later. Crap. And that's when Snake broke his neck. Big Boss ended up in a wheelchair. Eva! I'm over here. Uh-oh. She doesn't sound too good. Not even the Shagohad could defeat us. Snake. But nature. How's it look? In the end. Is what killed Eva. Pretty bad. <laughs> Not a sensitive bone in your body. Log was the final enemy. Eva. 
What about you, Snake? I'm fine. That's good to hear. We have to get away from here, Eva. Let's go. Leave me. Eva! The boss is waiting for you. You have to go. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. If we're still far away from the lake, I'll never make it. I can't believe this. Uh-huh. I never thought I'd see you act this week. What do you mean? Listen to me, Eva. We're doing this together. No, you... Eva! I need you. Say that one more time. I need you. I can't fly the wig by myself. <laughs> All right, then. I guess I'd better help you out. <laughs> Something made me do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're lucky it fits so me. well. No. There are some people that don't realize I just played a song. Radiohead fans will, will be like, wait Snake, a minute. Can you hear me? Paramedic. Thank God. Eva's been seriously hurt. So have you. Luckily, I think her organs are all intact, but... Calm down, Snake. Calm down? You'll both be fine as long as you get the proper emergency treatment. But you're the only one who can do this. Understand? So you've got to calm down. Right. Okay. Okay. Now let's open up the survival viewer and treat the injury. Do you have supplies with you? I'm running kind of short. Then by switching the survival viewer over to Eva, you can treat her wounds too. Now get to work. Oh, okay. and Snake, I'm pretty sure you know this already. But if you don't have enough supplies for the both of you, your wounds come first. Huh? Do you get my meaning, Snake? You've still got a mission to complete. Yeah, I know what I have to do. Snake? Like this. Well... I thought I had plenty of supplies. I had like 25, 20, 30. Snake's fine. He's good. Running short. Oh, I didn't check her um, things. Can you walk? I, sh oh, I should have yeah. spun her around and checked her so. things. different from a Mauser. When you're using a two-hand grip, you have to be careful where you put your hands or your fingers will get burned by the exhaust gas from the cylinder gap. Okay. Can I still check her stuff? Yeah, I think I can actually, Eva.
So there are nipples in this x-ray, guys. That's what people in the chat were saying. They, they wanted to see the x-ray nipples. <laughs> okay. Um, well, what the hell? What happened here? I hope you guys are happy. Uh, clinical records. Cut. Gunshot wound. Burn. Electrical burn. Leech. Lower back. Broken nail. Night terror. Gastritis. Stomach ache. Breast enhancement. What? Bronchitis. <laughs> Colds. Blow sustained. Frostbite. Cut. Burn. Gunshot wound. They don't look that big. Just saying. Food history. Instant noodles. Grappa. Espresso. Gelato. Grilled duck breast with herbs. Chinese almond jelly. Vine melon spring roll. What the hell? Like, who went through all the effort to type this in for the game? hate to do this, but I love to do it. What's this? Bone fractured? Wasted a bunch of materials. So, best chat member ever. Someone just said, parking break, just said, couples night at the vomitorium. <laughs> oh, we didn't see it. The camera was, was fucked up. Hang on. We gotta do that again. After the call. Call's over. Alright, never mind. Do you know what you're doing? Not really, no. No, I love you. Wait, why is Snake... Snake's not puking. God damn it. Alright, well... Maybe. Sorry about that. How do you interrogate her? Trank her, feed her. Oh my god. Everyone has a different suggestion. Let me have some more.
Do you know what you're doing? Interrogate her with your knife. Whoops. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. That wasn't... No. No, that's... Uh... Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to... I was just trying to interrogate you. No, really though, how do you interrogate? Because it's not working. Usually you, you gotta like, kind of grab from behind. But, whatever. CQC hold. Stop it. Okay, sorry. I'm not going to try to interrogate anymore. I give up. I do that a lot. It's a party trick. Why? I'm not tranking her. Yeah, this is this is gonna take a little while, isn't it? Probably gonna be quite a while until we see the ending of this game. And it's 3 a.m., so I might save it here. Okay, we're on caution mode. Where? Oh, the, oh, you're behind me. That's cool, guys. What's wrong? What's wrong? Where'd he go? No, nobody here. Ah. <sighs> 
Wait a minute, I wanted to feed a Ava. Eva. Oh, I have to be near her, I guess. Whoops. Can I have seconds? See? She likes snakes. Snake, the lake is just over that cliff. Eva should be able to climb it if you help her. Keep her close to you. Yeah, if I trank her now, the guards are definitely going to see it. Like, they're going to... I'm just going to do this to shut you guys up. Wow, and I couldn't even do that right. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Is that really that amazing? Got a good camel rating here. She mumbles weird shit. Oh, whatever. It's probably on YouTube somewhere. You know, I still haven't even fucking used that assault rifle. With the silencer on it. Good silencer. Oh, that's why I didn't use it. Because it fucking blows. Where am I, she asks. Follow the sound of the machine gun, <laughs> and you'll find me. Where'd you go? I was nowhere. Don't worry about that.
if you press triangle while well, you have that gun out, it shoots. Ava, where the fuck are you? Oh, okay. Snake. Cold-blooded. believe how many hits that guy just took. Well, that, that sucked. And food. This tastes like crap. No, I don't plan on streaming more after Metal Gear Solid 3 tonight. I'm actually debating on saving and coming back to this, but it's like... I'm so close to the end. I may as well just finish it. But it's gonna be a real late night as a result. Save because the cutscene and boss fight are kind of long. Just save long ending. You've got over an hour. The ending is two years long, Vin. Alright, you, you convinced me. You're right. That is Metal Gear. That's how it happens. I come back to it tomorrow, and then we'll watch the extras and... Oh, okay. 
Never mind. Apparently we are now locked into it. Maybe? Come on, Snake. We made it. We made it. Over there. It's the boss, isn't it? I'll go get the wig ready to take off. Right. I'll leave you two alone. But come back in one piece, okay? Hey, I might still have Promise a chance. And no, nope. isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. Boss, why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today, just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. Pretty so sure there's some intense conflict between the U.S. and Russia still. Is there such a thing as Maybe an not as much. timeless enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. Wait, she's their mother? How old is she? It was November 1st, 19. I guess I'm going to find out. Maybe. I was in the Nevada desert participating in atomic testing. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish, covered in snow, white as snow. And snow is exactly what I saw in that Nevada desert. It froze my blood white. Snake, 
You were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. You and I are alike. We're both slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. We'll never have the chance to die peacefully of old age. We have no tomorrow. But we can still have hope for the future. In 1960, I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. The Beatles Three years came earlier, to America. The Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury Program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays, and whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. That's why they chose me. After all, I'd already been irradiated once. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. I could see the planet as it appeared from space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the U.S. and the USSR. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. I'm sure you can see that, but the Earth itself has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on their space programs and the missile race, only to arrive at the same conclusion. In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body called Earth. Mm, not everyone feels that way. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. But reality continued to betray me. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to Bahia de Cochinos. It was part of a CIA-sponsored invasion under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the US government betrayed them. Our weak-kneed president held back their air support Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for. By the very government I dedicated my life to defending. I was driven from the surface world and I went underground. Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow. My old comrade in battle. He was my friend. But one of us had to die. I was left with no choice. The sorrow gave his life for me. There is no enmity between us. One must live and one must die. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Early in the 20th century, the true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the Wiseman's Committee. The secret pact they formed there marked the beginning of the philosophers. But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. After that, the organization began to run out of control, and the Wiseman's Committee degenerated into a mere shell of its former self. 
It's the Illuminati. The philosophers guys. of today have no sense of good or evil. That's how the Their Federal Reserve extends happened. Their to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this to me. He was one of them. You see, I am the last remaining child of the philosophers. But after he revealed the truth, my father was killed by that same shapeless, formless organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. We'd been given a top-secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V-2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. The sorrow was the father. I gave birth on the field of battle. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. May have been spoiled to me who that child was. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. I gave up my body and my child for my country. There is nothing left inside me now. Nothing at all. No hatred, not even regret. And yet sometimes at night, I can still feel the pain creeping up inside me, slithering through my body like a snake. I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. feel content. Snake. Commence the operation. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest 10 minutes of our lives, Jack. God damn it, I don't, I don't want to do that. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Ah, oh, man. And what time is it? Like 3.20. That guy was right before when he said hour and a half. Jesus. You going to save? I guess I have to. <laughs> I guess I have to finish the mission, guys. Good luck. Thanks. Ah! 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 
Nice. Ah! Pathetic. Run quick. She's good. Damn it. I don't think I'm going to be treating too many wounds because this is going to just take way too long. What is that? It's scientist uniform has a fuckload of camo. Let's see what you're made of. You're not the I thought. Run quick. You're not the ah, Jesus. Uh, okay, I want to try something. Fuck my life. <laughs> Where is she? This is gonna take this is gonna take a little while. I know it's time, but it's still gonna take a little while. gun is fucking cheap that you have, Ava. Or whatever. Boss lady. It's a cheap fucking gun. You should be ashamed. Run quick. 
Ah, oh, come on. It kind of works. An animal was killed in the process. I now have food. Here I come. No, no, no! Get the sherbet! Move or you're dead. God damn it, Snake. Get ready! <laughs> I'd prefer if I didn't have to, but, you know, I do kind of have to run, huh? Locks my shots from hitting her. Almost dead, and I don't have any more healing. Move or you're dead. God damn it. This music is pumping me. It's pumping me hard, guys, but I... I can't win. But I... I pressed the button at the exclamation mark. I 
I was so close, too. Yeah. You better run. Game and it's ten thousand endings. There you are. That, it's pretty pretty positive. I hit her in the head. Shield. Where are you? <laughs> oh. Where are you hiding? I found you. I hate that. I hate that you can't shoot her directly because she's got some kind of mystical force shield. Let's see what you're made of. Yeah, let's let's do it. Right. So CQC uh, button when the exclamation mark Heads appears. Up, snake. Run quick. I'll bet you the fucking RPG is somehow also. It's time to play rough. I mean that's that's actual damage. But yeah, she can she can get rid of that damage. You're not there. Well, this is over. This is over again. All oh, right, the stealth suit. I didn't even put that on. It's fucking 3:30 a.m. I guess I can be a little cheap. That's cool. Somewhat cheap. Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is going to be This is going to be like this, isn't it? It's just going to be me using a fucking rocket launcher on her, isn't it? Here I come. That doesn't work. You better run. I 
did no damage. Let's see what you're made of. None of my uh. things do anything. Uh. Try one more time, and then I'm. Let's see what you're made of. Fucking frustrating as shit when that Heads happens. Up. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, vulnerable shield, Sonic, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, dead franchise. I don't want to. Right, I forgot to put the fucking sneaking suit on. Son of a fucking bitch. I'm just. I have no patience right now. That's why this is going so poorly. I just don't have any patience. It, it is immensely late. Shoot me. Please, I need I need more shoots. More shoots is I have not been shot enough.
How is she saying that she's knocked out? Ah. Fuck you! God damn it! Ah. Uniform snake. Well, oh, I did it, guys. Now to watch a 45 minute ending that's gonna fucking take forever snake pattern provides the ultimate cover in any environment Save before cutscenes. <laughs> Too late. Oh, there's another boss. There's I... take this. Keep it safe. And now to fight the final boss, the horse.
That was ending number three. Ready to go, Snake? Are you okay? Snake? Pretty much had to kill his stepmother. No, I don't yeah. think he's doing that great. I told you you could trust me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Snake! Oh, Ocelot, you asshole. Ocelot! We're not done yet! Nice, like three frame a second <laughs> clothes effect. It's not over yet, Snake. I'm doing really bad in this fight, guys. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Not good! Punch me in my eye gap. What, what are you doing, Ocelot? I picked up a few new moves. Huh. It doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man. I'll get over it. Eva! Well, here we go. No ammo. Still going. What do you say to one last showdown? Yeah, all right.
and, and are we enemies or what's happening here exactly? What's your name? Snake. No. Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. Wasn't it Very Jack? Well, John. Plain name. But I won't forget it. Snake has many names. It's fine. Come on! And his name is John Cena! Walk forward. Collect box. New cutscene. to do tricks with the gun. It looks like your luck has beat mine <laughs> again. But why didn't you pull the trigger? Meet again, John. That's the true love story. The story of Ocelot and Snake. I was told you could do tricks and like twirl the gun at the end there. Like sadly some of the game was spoiled for me. And that's one of the things I was told I could do. So I tried to do it, and that's why I didn't shoot. Failed miserably. We made it. Yeah, we sure did. Should have saved so There's long no ago. <laughs> what are we gonna do? We've come too far to let them stop us now. Those things have got to be armed. It's no use. There's no way we can outmaneuver them. They're 
better shoot us down. We were so close. Weapon systems on. Locked on target. I got tow. You were great, Eva. Huh? Thanks. Hulk 19, this is Control. Stand by for a direct order from the Chairman. Hulk 19, return to base immediately. Do you read me? This is a direct order from Comrade Khrushchev. Return to base immediately. Hulk 19, do you copy? Understood. Aborting mission. RTB. Look! The MiGs, they're turning back! Elvis. I'll leave it up to you to figure out why I said Elvis. Well done, Snake. Because I'm not the even sure. disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. It should be smooth sailing all the way to Alaska. I'm sending someone out to Galena base to meet you. To meet me? The DCI and the President himself are waiting at Langley. Don't keep them waiting. Elvis didn't do no drugs. Okay, how many more endings are there? You know what I mean? Like, like how much more time of this game is there? America behind me. But you saved this country. I didn't do it alone. That was weird. My TV just got weird. And I still owe you a dinner. Is that part of it? An invitation. Hmm. Or a proposal? I don't take orders from anyone now. <sighs> Snake got the girl in the end. And this is how Vulcan Raven was born. Who eats a snake? That was really expensive. 
Snake, the president called you. You didn't pick up. Why? Oh, uh, malfunction. There was a, there was a malfunction. Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Forgive me, snake. on the table. Which explains her incredibly over-flirtatious attitude towards Snake throughout the whole game. So, there you go. This was not completely unexpected Good morning. on my behalf. But I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. First of all, I have to apologize. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China for the General HQ 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. And I'm sorry. The philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So, I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960... ...were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place. Saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. And you, and Sokolov, and Volgan, you all believed me. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the U.S., Soviet Union, and China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy, too. I got the film containing the legacy. And also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandon easing, hydrogen bomb, and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the U.S. and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan, thanks to your help. I, too, am one of the philosophers. I'm an agent of the Philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint U.S.-Soviet-Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. This was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. But she knew right from the beginning. She knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools, too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake. 
she what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm awake. Truth. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm. She chose me to tell you. I'm watching. That's why she saved my life. I don't really I've have much to, to so say. Many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. But I can't do it. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. And you have to live. Rockin' aviators. That's when you pour yourself another whiskey. Even if it's like 9 a.m. Just go straight for the whiskey cabinet. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice. Because that was her duty. There's the major. Sigint is here. The Johnson? Oof. President Johnson. You are above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think that would happen. Gotta be honest. You are a true patriot. Paramedic. There she is. But he doesn't feel much like a patriot. the qualities of a soldier and an agent the boss's defection was a ruse set up by the US government it was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosophers legacy and the boss was the star of the show they planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Volgan's trust Finding out where the Philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. 
the public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. And she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death at your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. But Snake will know. In America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake. <laughs> History will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. Jesus Christ. This is going up pretty quick. I can't read this out loud, so... Dispense Fox. U.S. branch philosophers changes its name to the Patriots. Big Boss establishes Foxhound in '71, and that brings us to the very, very beginning of Metal Gear Solid. 1972. Solid Snake, Liquid Snake. I don't know if that other snake is born, but. Yeah. Scene after the music. They'll tell you what they know. 
Well, let me just say a few things. Let me muster a little bit of energy at 4.17 a.m. This almost never happens, guys. This almost never happens that I play a game from 11 p.m. to fucking 4 a.m. And, and, and beyond 4 a.m. It's just that good of a game. And... I really... I can't believe it. I can't believe how good it is. Um... I told you guys this when I first started playing the game. I am a Metal Gear fan. I, I beat Metal Gear Solid. I, I had Twin Snakes. Like, I completed these games multiple times. I was a huge fan. Completed Metal Gear Solid 2 once or twice. I had the Game Boy version um, of Metal Gear. And, um... I just kind of didn't get Metal Gear Solid 3. Either it was financial or just didn't have the time. I don't remember. But I tried on a few occasions to get it. I remember asking for it for Christmas. Like a few years after it came out. And the store didn't have it. And that was the first time I didn't get a chance. Then I looked for it at a GameStop a few years after that. They didn't have it. Um, then I was like, alright, well, I heard there's a 3DS version coming out, you know, years later. I played the demo, the frame rates were crap, people were saying it has bad frame rates, and I'm definitely a stickler for- I hate that word. But I am a stickler for frame rates. I- I really think that you gotta have steady, good frame rates. And, um, I prefer that over the 3D effect and the portability. So, um, you know, it just took me this long, and then finally I, I decided, like, fuck it, you know what, I'm gonna do this. It, it really didn't have much to do with the fact that Metal Gear Solid Five was coming out soon. It was just one of those things that was stuck in my head, like, I gotta play this game one day, one day, one day, one day. And finally I said, well, what am I doing after Final Fantasy VII? Went to the store, found the HD collection. For Xbox, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna stream it. And that is the story of me and Metal Gear Solid 3. It's been just that one amazing game that has eluded me. And unlike Final Fantasy X, where people were like, Vin, you gotta play it, it's amazing. And then I played it, and I was like, eh, it's alright. You know, no nostalgia for the game, a lot of laughable voice acting and plot elements, and other things that annoyed me didn't really impress me this game thoroughly impressed me from start to finish story gameplay music visuals presentation it's a metal gear game meaning there's going to be a fuckload of cutscenes we're not even done watching the ending yet but i had a great time with it and i would put this very high up in in my list of greatest games ever and that's just me playing it for the first time so yeah I really I loved it I loved it and I liked it better than Metal Gear Solid 2 whether or not it's better than Metal Gear Solid 1 I'm not sure yet I need some time to digest that and and think about you know I have the nostalgia obviously gameplay wise this beats one I think in a number of other ways it, it beats one as well but only time will tell I don't have the means to play Metal Gear Solid 4 um, Metal Gear Solid 4 is on PlayStation 3 I don't have that system and I don't want to spend the money on a system or nor do I want anyone's system so I don't know I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to stream Metal Gear Solid 4. I mean, it could happen one day in the future. I, I think it would be really sad if I never got a chance to play that game. So yeah, I'll probably end up finding a way to play it one day. Um, I should just port it over to the PC as soon as they can. I... This music... No, there's no way to play Metal Gear Solid 4 on the PC. 
Not interested in revengeance. I will be playing Peace Walker by myself, and I might stream some of it. I will not be streaming that whole game. It's, it's longer than this, and I got other stuff I want to do. I may stream Metal Gear Solid 5 when it comes out. Salute Hideo Kojima, one of my heroes. Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The Philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. What? With this money, yes, the Philosophers can finally be revived. Wait, what? The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. <laughs> Peking must be in an uproar right about now. <sighs> oh. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. The Metal Gear. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple-crossing them. <laughs> Amazing, Ocelot. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Of course. I'm always at the CIA's disposal, Mr. Director. Uh. <laughs> wow. Um, so Ocelot worked for the CIA, uh, but he was, I think, you know, he was a philosopher, a philosopher lackey. Ending trumpet. Anyway, uh, save, continue 23 times. Alert phase 72 times. Humans killed 225 people. 
Um, well, look, I'm a crocodile, guys, which is 100% perfect for me. I got the title of crocodile. I did it. Yay! Yes. What's that? No, sir. No, the viewer, the viewers have no idea that I'm actually PewDiePie. No. No, sir. No. They don't realize that in less than 24 hours, this whole stream will be changed to pewed sauce. No, they have no idea. I've been quadruple, quadruple crossing them. You've got a patriot and a camera and green and brown and flag and tuxedo. DPM, Oscam, Metal Gear, PP, Desert Tiger, Flectarn. I guess for a second playthrough, which I can't think. I don't think I'll be doing anytime soon. Uh, ugh. All right, let's start it now. 24-hour stream, guys, starting right now. Going to beat the game again in full. Now, hang on a second. Before I go, just because what what is life anymore? Um, curious about something. What is the um, extras thing, guys? Is it this? Demo theater? Secret theater. Secret theater does not exist in HD. Oh, can someone um, maybe link me to the YouTube videos of it? Something. The end dies of old age. Reckless boy. Disappointment. Oh, these are. This is a cool way to do cutscenes. Air raid. Russian roulette. Snake misses shooting. Snake wins. Ocelot wins. Ocelot loses. Wow. This is a really, really cool way to handle the cutscenes. Secret Theater is another mode, and it's not on the HD. Oh, thanks, Fred. Is American made. Let's see what this is real quick. The one I've got for you is American made. Forty five, huh? Hmm. It wasn't a forty five in the How's uh, that? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. Wait, was it? The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. I thought it was a 1911. Long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Do you like it? Huh. <laughs> hmm. 
All right. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few little movies here that I'll watch. You watch on your own time. I'll watch on my own time. Metal Gear Solid Three is finished, my friends. Um, I guess that's just kind of like just them having fun, like blooper reel type stuff. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess that's it, isn't it? Um, I'm not doing the art tonight, I don't think, because there's probably a, quite a bit of it. Yeah, there's 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 a few. I mean, there's a page and a half. When I say half, I mean that's stuff that I haven't um, gotten to. Maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll do the art anyway. From Ziggy Plays, here's some art for my song. From Pyrochasm, this was during my shitty game stream yesterday. It's very nice art, actually. Really, really well done. From Cat Wolf Mask. Uh, paper mache, I think. Okay, there is... Okay, I could probably kind of just get through this real quick. Some of it's not me. But there is some Metal Gear art. Um, fuck it, right? May as well. From Blaze X 520 There's a BRB. Um, from Turtle Band. This is uh, apparently for a game called Hammer Watch, he says. Uh, from... Hang on. From Cain Garcia. Sometimes you, fe you feel on a tree frog. From Bomb ZYZ. Really? Uh, maybe maybe that's more chat than me, but uh, okay. From Polo Robot, here's the sorrow holding up a sign. Hello, from Billy the Ferret. Metal Gear Solid Three Tree Beater. <laughs> from Mini Chow. Ava's boob physics. My reaction, unnecessary jiggle. Chat's reaction, titties. From Elena D. There's a vine shroom. From Frisk. Here's uh, apparently Metal Gear Solid 3 art, guys. <laughs> From the, <laughs> the Great Super Mario. Some more. Uh, just a few more, actually. From C. Baby Gear Solid 3. Even babier. From Deadlock Drift, Boss and Snakey. Snakey, you gotta kill me, you know? You gotta kill me for the good of the world or something. Oh, gee, boss, I don't know. Uh, I kind of don't want to do that, you know? From Dapramont, Crocmaster. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's actually, that was my... My title from Mini Chow. Thanks for playing, Karatan. Don't forget about Johnny. I won't. All right. Well, um, I just want to thank you guys for joining me. This has been an enlightening, enlightening stream. And I enjoyed it very much. Metal Gear Solid 3 was awesome. You might expect a stream tomorrow. You might be able to see some streaming tomorrow from me. Or maybe not. I'm not sure yet. But Metal Gear Solid 3 is now over. Which means full steam ahead on Bayonetta 2. Good night, everyone. Get some sleep. <laughs>